I'd like to demonstrate how to flatten a horizon in a data set. The, uh, what you're seeing is the uh, uh, SNARK data set. The area right up here is, corresponds to where the sets of channels and other features that uh, we're probably most interested in in this project. And I have produced a couple of uh, uh, horizons that I've created. One I called up here above one, above the feature one layer up, and below the feature one layer down. And one can see that this, this top one has uh, did, a, did a fairly good 3D auto track on the horizon. The one below is not quite as uh, good. It has some areas, particularly back here, where it uh, has picked off on other surfaces. But nonetheless, most of this feature is probably uh, pretty reasonable. Um, I'm going to actually do the demonstration with the above one feature because it's more continuous. The idea of this is to provide a, a good way to flatten approximately the area we're interested in, so we're going to flatten it on a good surface up above it. Now, the process for doing this is really uh, fairly straightforward. I don't believe it has anything to do with what's picked down here in the, uh, uh, the sections for different processes. Sometimes that's important, but here it isn't particularly. Um, I'm going to do two things. One, I need to select the seismic survey that, make that go away, the seismic survey in which I want to make the change. So in this case, it's going to be my realized version of the SNARK full 3D. And I'm then going to go down and I'm going to use the above one. This is the horizon, and above one down here is the, uh, is the, the surface that I'm going to use. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to right-click on this. I'm going to come down to Flatten Active Seismic Volume. That's why I had to activate the seismic volume up above, the SNARK Full 3D Realized. So I'm going to click that. And it has now created a new entry. Now, this, much like the cropping, is really not creating a new data set. It is just defining a number of adjustments on how the traces are moved up and down in order to flatten the features. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into something that I'm actually going to save as, an, as a bricked volume. I talked about that a little in class. And it will write out actually a another data set. Stop doing that. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and, and I can actually view this. I mean, I should stop and do this. Let's get rid of those. And also we'll turn off the, uh, turn off our horizon up here. And now I will go down to the flattened version and we will look at an inline of these two. And I'm going to zoom in. You can probably already see the horizontal line here that we're, that we're looking at. And you can see that whereas this reflector was not perfectly horizontal, it is now forming a, a time slice in the uh, whole data set. And we have flattened what's down here so that when we run a time slice through this, we should capture at least on a plane that is parallel to this flattened horizon up at the top. Now, one of the things that I'm going to need to do to make this efficient, where I can efficiently put in time slices here, is going to be to realize this, this data set. When it has done this flattening, it has actually taken it from 8-bit uh, back out to 32-bit, and I need to bring it back down in order to make it flat and efficient. You probably could put in here a, a time slice, but my experience has been it will run kind of slowly, and it's better to invest the time in doing the correction. So what I'm going to do is go up to the, the flattened data set. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go down to Realize. And you'll note, sorry about it, we did do that. I'm going to realize it. Now, it doesn't seem for some reason to come up and actually show me a bar as it is doing this and making the transformation. So I'm going to kind of watch the clock and um, 
then I'm going to uh, come back and I'll have cut a piece out and then we'll pick up and we'll work with the realized data set. Okay, some time has passed, uh, about really three or four minutes, and I was doing something else in the meantime on the computer, so it really didn't take very long for it to do this. It did pop up the message log at the bottom and says saving flattened one, and uh, down here it just indicates that it's a ZGY file, which is the uh, form of a bricked, bricked volume. I'm going to get rid of that, uh, that particular feature. I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. Now we've introduced, this was what we had as flattened one before that it created. Now we have another data set. So in other words, this is just a, um, an adjustment on the SNARK data set. This, however, is a new data set, flattened one realized. And I'm going to go up here and uh, get, rid of, uh, get rid of this. And I'm now going to come down and we'll now be able to look at this with time slices, etc. Again, it's very clear that you can see the flattened horizon. You can see the features down here. There's an enormous channel coming through here, another perhaps broader channel cut into this feature. And uh, what I'm going to do is bring up my time slice below. Uh, and we're going to come up into into this feature and at that point I'm going to come down and we're able to see uh, portions of this. Uh, let me get rid of at least my X line on this and we have features that are coming along here which are which are channels, fairly straight channels coming through here and we will be able to uh, go up to different levels in this sequence and be able to see the kinds of features that we're looking for. So what we've done is to flatten this horizon and then be able to see it. Remember this really isn't a time slice anymore, although we're going to treat it that way for bookkeeping, but it actually corresponds to a straddle slice, meaning that it's been made parallel to a, uh, to a reflector. Uh, so that's, that's the, main, the main set of features. I will do a second pickup on this in another video in which I will show you how to go about taking features like your various uh, horizons and actually have those corrected to the, uh, to the flattening. And I'll try to get that out. But this will get you most of what you need in terms of uh, flattening the, the horizons and to allow you to uh, see things of interest. Okay, thank you.